Fiddlesticks is one of the scariest champions in the game with his interactions and story. Fiddlesticks can't say whatever he wants, he mimics his victim's last words before they get killed. And he is controlled by the demon inside him, when the demon leaves his body he becomes an inanimate scarecrow. Let's take a look at his recall animation. As you can see when the demon left his body, he just fell on the ground like a pile of sticks. Fiddlesticks when he sees some other champions, he mimics their biggest past traumas to make them feel helpless and terrified. So let's start with Vane. Vane! Give us a smile! In Demacia, when Vane got home, she saw her parents lie in a pool of blood, and there was an extremely beautiful woman sitting in the middle of them. The woman was, Evelyn. Have I told you how your parents cried with their final breaths? <laughs> she could never forget, how Evelyn smiled, and Vane never smiled again. Let's keep on with Emmy. Emmy, don't let go! Annie's stepsister fell in a river when she was having fun with Annie, unfortunately, she died. Me, help me. Let's see, his interaction with Garen. Garen, brother, please don't hate me. Garen never liked mages, he never wanted anyone using magic in Demacia. Most of the mages in Demacia ended up in jail, waiting for their execution. After his uncle gets killed by a sorcerer, he despised them even more. And his sister Lux came to him, and told that she is a sorceress. That is the biggest trauma in Garen's life. Let's see, his interaction with Lux. Little light. When Silas was in jail, Lux liked him a lot. She taught him how to control his power, and made him better at using magic. She even tried to cancel his execution. But when Silas got free, he attacked Demacia with an army of sorcerers. In other words, he betrayed Lux. And it was the most traumatic moment in her life. The reason Fiddlesticks call her Little Light. I am sorry, Little Light. Let's see, his interaction with Misfortune. Hide, Sarah! Hide! Sarah! Sarah! Sarah, is Miss Fortune's real name. And before her family was murdered by Gangplank, one of her parents told Sarah to hide. But Gangplank shot the young Sarah too. Luckily she didn't die. To get rid of the trauma she has, she uses the nickname Miss Fortune. Remember me, you bastard? Hmm, no. You look a lot like a guy who shot me in the head. Good for me, bad for you. Let's see, his interaction with Silas. Venice, don't hurt her! When Silas was young, he was a mage seeker, and Vanny's was his master. Vanny's told Silas to find a girl who uses magic. When Silas found the little girl, Vanny's rushed towards her, realizing Vanny's would hurt the little girl. Instead of helping his master, Silas protected the little girl. At that moment, Things went crazy with explosions and fires. And what Fiddlesticks says to Silas, is what Silas said to Vanny's. Affected by how helpless the little girl was, the images of the little girl never left his mind. Let's see, his interaction with Yasuo. Brother! How could you betray us? When Yasuo was a fugitive, he ran into his brother Yone. To keep moving forward, he had to kill his own brother, and these were his brother's last words. You're wanted for your crimes. I'm no murderer. Answer for what you have done. Have nothing more to give. Let's see, his interaction with Riven. Guilty! 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 When Noxus invaded Ionia, Lots of Ionians were murdered by Noxians in cold blood. Because of that, Riven felt ashamed for what happened. Even though there was a war, she felt sad for Ionians. And when she got back to the village where she broke her sword, 
she learned that the village elder died because of her. And the villagers didn't forgive Riven, and called her guilty. Of all weapons, the past cuts deepest. The past is a burden we both share. They accused me of murder. They were wrong. I would give you back your life if I could. However far you travel, you won't outrun the past. Let's see, his interaction with Kindred. Greyman. Greyman is the old form of Kindred. And Kindred's biggest fear is being lonely. Fiddlesticks reminds Kindred of how lonely she was. Let's listen her old life, from Kindred herself. Ram, tell me a story. There was once a pale man with dark hair who was very lonely. Why was it lonely? All things must meet this man, so they shunned him. Did he chase them all? He took an axe and split himself in two. So he would always have a friend. So he would always have a friend. When Fiddlesticks sees other demons, he tells their names. Evelyn! Tom Kench! Nocturne! Let's see, his interaction with Jinx. Jinx! All your fault! All your fault! It is probably Vi, who tells that it's all her fault. It is said that Jinx caused a big explosion in which so many people died including her parents. But nothing is certain probably until the release of the Arcane series. I'm always here! My little hero! There is no information, other than his mother always told him, her little hero. Demacia. 